everyone and welcome to this video song for Antier video. Now <clears throat> just a wee update. I thought I would test out these computers here. Now this one I believe it's broked. You powered it up and it um, it spins up the power supply a wee bit but then switches off immediately. It goes just basically. In fact why don't I um, show you it. This is a newer one of the two. Sounds like I'm revving up an engine. Now, I have tried pulling everything apart from the power supply out. Um, on the motherboard. Um, if I pull the uh, 12 volt rail connector, the power supply will uh, stay switched on. I am going to try with a different power supply just to see what exactly it is that's broken. If it's a motherboard, I think I will save up and buy a generic Core 2 Duo motherboard. In fact, let's count the number of slots. One, two, three, four. No. That's not going to do it, I'm afraid. What I was going to do was uh, get myself hold of a, another... MSI P6N SLI board and throw that in there. But unfortunately it's not going to fit because there's too many slots for the case. Anyway, let's go on with another Packard Bell. The other one that I showed you earlier. <coughs> Imagine the surprise when I switched this on and it did in fact work because I thought both of these had faulty boards. Well, this one does work. So what I'm going to present to you now is me completely restoring this machine. Might not be a Packard Bell Club anymore, but that doesn't mean there's still people who aren't... Well, that doesn't mean that uh, people aren't still interested. Um, that's basically uh, saying that the CMOS battery is low. Basically, by hitting F12, what I've done is I've started the recovery program. So, it's detected the USB mouse straight away. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to recovery programs and click next. I like how this just about looks exactly like the out-of-the-box experience, except the buttons are a wee bit different. Now, I've got two different types of recovery, non-destructive or destructive. I usually prefer destructive, because that is the one that definitely, no questions asked, restores your computer back. Well, apart maybe from that one. Now, it says installation type, destructive recovery warning. All data will be deleted. Oh my goodness, no. Please wait. Preparing your hard disk drive. Oh, by the way, I have broken the seal on this one. Okay, never mind. It was bound to happen. And now, now the recovery begins. I 
And in that Packard Bell way, it's still telling you the name of each file that's been restored. Now I can tell you that this is a 2.5 GHz Intel Celeron with 256 megs of RAM. And I'm here to tell you that for the Celeron, this is actually quite nippy. Not entirely sure what it is, but I'm guessing it's a Northwood. Of course, once I've restored it, I am going to run the CPU IZ program on it. <laughs> but I've decided that this one is going to be used alongside my Apple Mac as a main computer. Because, um, you know, I have wanted a Windows Plus Mac setup for a while. This one is going to the office, and I think the other one is going to come back here. But before I do anything with this machine, let's get more RAM in it. There is absolutely no way it's going to be able to run well with uh, 256 megs of RAM, so it gets a gig. And to be honest, I think that's very nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back when this is done, the first part of the restart, and then I'll show you what the second part looks like. Okay. So uh, this is the machine after having uh, done the first phase of recovery. This seems to have gotten straight to the out-of-the-box experience, which I'm guessing means Packard Bell have finally sorted out the recovery process. It's not running through XP setup, which what appears like 300 times, and then going through and installing all the applications manually. Oh my goodness, why did it take so long? Why? But this one, it seems to basically just the one, <coughs> just the one thing to install, or well, obviously it'll probably install the whole image. And it seems to have gone to the out-of-the-box experience. No, we're not going to connect to the internet just yet. There is nothing to connect it with. And no, I do not wish to register my Packard Bell. Thank you for asking. Are you sure you want to skip the registration? Yes, the last time I tried to register one of you guys, the blooming server was broke. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What have I just skipped? Oh yeah, that's right. I've skipped you once before, I can do it again. Am I sure I want to skip the registration? No. Yes. Ah yeah, that was it. Just click on the smiley face icon. It seems to run out of time. So I'll just register this to me. Windows XP Home Edition. <gasps> nice. Listen, share, create, enjoy. Well, some of it is a nice Packard Bell background, and I was given a manual for one of these, and I've thrown it away. J, 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 J. <clears throat> I'm getting a Paint Shop Pro book at some point. In the same way that I'm supposed to be getting a compact uh, Presario 2240 at some point, but unfortunately, I can't even get it up from England. So, yeah, that is quite annoying. What I want to know is this.
How can a 2.5 gigahertz Celeron with only 256 megabytes of RAM be so fast? Actually, I think I know the answer. The reason that a 2.5 gigahertz Celeron with only 256 megabytes of RAM is so fast is this. This is Windows XP probably at the most service pack 1. By the time I've bundled a whole load of updates on it, it'll be slow as the rest of those dual-core co dual powerhouses out there having to run this elephant where that we call OS's. Windows 7 is fast, but only marginally so. So this is the new, well, when I say new, this is a new Packard Bell theme that they had 2003 to 2004. Before they brought, well, even even when they did have the white ones out, um, <clears throat> basically Packard Bell had went from the blue of the early two thousands, and as you can see, it's a completely different logo from uh, the the face of technology has gone, and uh, well, basically, it's saying the display settings are broken. Well, that's fine. I know they are. Um, to Windows XP from Microsoft to life click on any one of the buttons to, to have a wee look at what you're doing you may also sign up with FreeServe which is no more so let's have a wee look you've got uh, Packard Bell Doc Online registration and you've got Click Me First, which also takes you to the registration. Packard Bell Universe. Well, that'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? Welcome to the Packard Bell Universe. We offer you two choices of computing environments to choose from. Packard Bell's Universe or Microsoft's Windows. You may also begin by taking a lesson on using the mouse. Nah. You think I'm that lucky? I don't think so. The Multimedia Universe. Discover Packard Bell's classic software collection. Software edition. A specially designed software collection that has been included to enable you to get the most from your computer. And then we've got the Online Universe. So let's have a look at the Multimedia Universe. So we've got Home Entertainment, Said Masters, Childhood, <coughs> please install it from the software library, <coughs> I don't have any of that. Well, to be honest, I think I think it's a bailout. And here we have the GCSE Maths, English, and Science collection. Now, what if this PC had been bought for someone as a congratulations? You passed your GCSE present. Think about that. And then they're looking for A level software and it's non installed. Yikes. Go to start all programs. Home Office, Microsoft Works seven point. Oh, uh, there's, he's, I like the categories, and Packard Bell have kind of always done that. So you've got accessories, games, which are Windows ones, admittedly, home entertainment, which is uh, Power Cinema, Power DVD, blah, 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 Microsoft Works for Home Office, Internet, Security, Internet and Security, My CD Writer, Online Services, AOL, powered by Packard Bell, really? Or free serve. Um, Packard Bell Ever Safe. So, Packard Bell Ever Safe for Windows 95, 98, ME, into for 2000, 2003 XP version 3. Oh, goody, I'll put this on a disc and give it to my friend Billy Corf when he gets his Legend 822 CDTW back. Or am I being unfair? Actually, 
yes, I believe I am being very unfair about this machine. It is actually really quite nice. Do you know what? I, I do like it. I know I joke a bit, but come on, Packard Bell Universe being a web page. I mean, I kind of like how they've given a description of what all the software is and what it does. And I am going to make good use of this machine. Failing that, it is going to become one of the machines that are sold to my customers. Probably, you know, at a very small price. However, I do like it. You know, and these machines generally do tend to be quite well built. I worked for PC World, and I've had absolutely no problems with any of these Packard Bell machines while I was there. I only did it when I was 15 years old as school work experience, and they were bringing it, the, well, the blue ones were still out, but they were still really very good. Now, I like this. I'm wanting to get the other one working, though. I really am. I'm going to try it with a different power supply. And I will say this, Packard Bell, thank you for sorting out your restore thing. Thank you so much. You have no idea how annoying that really, really, really was. Anyway, I suppose what I can do is show you Microsoft Works. So I go to the home office. Ah, uh, the works portfolio. Who remembers that? I loved it. You see, and I think Microsoft Works kind of grew up a wee bit. Have a look at this. Looks familiar, doesn't it? That's because it looks like Microsoft Word. Okay, the colour um, chooser is a wee bit more kind of friendly, but you still get all the versatility. But tables, that was always something I found difficult to do in Microsoft Works. Not too difficult, but I always found that there was more customization in Microsoft Word. However, I think they have cleaned up their act a wee bit with it. Still though, I'd go for the big blue W every single time. Or if I was on Billy Core's computer, I'd go for the big turquoise W. Do you know? Yeah, and I've got to have the software library DVD, which I don't have. But never mind. So I think what I'm going to do is shut this down and <clears throat> hopefully I'll be able to find a nice way home for that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And please tune in for my next videos. My channel is www.youtube.com forward slash video from Frontier. But if you stay tuned for the credits, you'll actually see how it's spelt. Thank you for watching and please tune in again. <laughs>